Today I'm going big box plant shopping. I'm in Grand Rapids, Michigan, as you guys know, tagging along with my husband, and of course I have to check out what the big box shops here have to offer. I'm very excited. I have been extremely impressed so far with all of my plant glorious plant shopping expeditions. So I'm going to visit Lowe's and Home Depot. I'm very, very excited. I checked out Meyer recently. Oh my goodness, if you have not been, definitely go if you're able to because the plant shopping there was very, very good. So if you enjoy plant shopping and that kind of thing brings a smile to your face, definitely subscribe. And that way episodes will show up in your newsfeed and we also have an amazing community on Instagram. So let's go do some shopping. And I always share my haul at the end of the video. Let's go. I'm at my first stop, which is at Home Depot, and I see so many incredible plants. It's really exciting. And first off the bat, I have to point these out. I think these are Stingray um, alocasia, and they're huge. Let me check. Yes, it says Mythic Stingray. So these are Stingray alocasia. They are so, so cool and if you can see they have like the little tail here and then the shape of the leaves it very much looks like a stingray these are 29 and they're some of the biggest that i've seen for 29 dollars for sure they're usually expensive they're uncommon generally and they come with the little um you know cute wicker pot and everything as well so that's a good deal if you're like really good with alocasias. This is going to be exciting because this is the first time I've seen the alocasia stingrays available. Really, I mean, even at like rare and uncommon places like where they sell rare and uncommon plants, it's hard to find them. So to see them here this big, they're the biggest I've ever seen. Now, you can actually plant these if you're in the right zones. You can plant them outside and they'll come back every year and they can grow absolutely massive. So that's really, really cool. I also see some different ficus varieties. Um, this is Chroma Belize. It looks like either a Teneke or a Ruby. And these are all 29. There you also have some really pretty Calatheas and some other ficus varieties back here. But I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are still so many plants and really impressed so far. Oh, it looks like these orchids here are $16.98, maybe on sale. And they have some interesting ones. They have um, a peace lily in here. I'm trying to see if it's like um, the platinum peace lily. Those are kind of newer to the market. I've seen them potted up. They have very platinum blue leaves. These just look like they're just regular um, peace lily spathophyllums. They also have sun red. They have down here golden pothos, but these are their overflow plants. So let me go over to their main plants. Oop, I just realized I had missed this little section. These are 29 for the really large Monstera deliciosas. Look how huge this is. <laughs> for $29 for those huge fenestrated leaves. And look, they have new growth. Wow, that's beautiful. Then they have the Alocasia Latrobachiana, I think is how it's pronounced, they are 29. And then back here, I see some really beautiful ferns, the uh, Living Lace varieties. And then these are the um, fuzzy Calatheas. There are so many great plants over there, but I noticed this huge um, variegated aloe, and it's called Star Aloe, but it's Snowdrift, $24. I'm always impressed. And look at this one back here. I think it's a type of euphorbia. Oh, it's a Madagascar palm, $24. How beautiful. Just gonna take a quick look. Some really nice cacti. These are all 5.98. 
one's interesting. We have some little blue ones down here. These are 468. Some string of, looks like string of bananas and string of pearls back there. They're $12.98. Ooh, taking a look. They have the sun red philodendrons and these are all 19, I believe. Let me double check. Um, yes, $19.98 for these. All of these proven winter plants. Let's take a look. They have the first frost. Satenthi. And this looks like, yep, dragon scale, alocasia. And then there's the silver dragon. <laughs> so they're very similar. The dragon scale is just very beautiful dark green with the dragon scale appearance. And then the silver dragon is similar, but it has very silvery leaves. Then there's it looks like a black velvet, but it's a, oh, it's a, wow, it's an Alocasia Ninja. I've only ever seen the Alocasia Ninja one time in a specialty nursery, and I paid a lot of, how much did I pay for it? I'm trying to remember if it was one of the expensive ones I purchased, around 40 or so. The Ninja's really great. It looks very similar to a black velvet, but the leaves are shaped a little bit different. They're connected up at the top, and they're also extremely sparkly. The little like, gray down the center here has very, very sparkly leaves. Um, that's really cool. That's the first time I've seen them. And, you know, alocasias can be hit or miss. My alocasia ninja is doing really well. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That is a great find. I don't know, I haven't seen that in Charlotte. Um, yet but maybe they're coming out in general lemon lime philodendrons here philodendron birkins oh they looks like they have some pilea peperomioides down here some other peperomias some ficus adansonii's these are all 19. hmm very nice. There's some large green philodendrons. I think we're coming into the $29.99 proven winner plants. This looks like maybe a Rojo Congo, little Ficus Altisma. I see another, some more Stingray allocation. You see this one like popping up there. And there's Monstera Deliciosas. There's another little um, overflow area here. They have more of the Adansonii and Birkins and looks like Tenneke. Some cute little Tradescantia. These are called Feelin' Flirty. <laughs> I love that name. They do have the like Black Beauty or Chocolate Anthuriums. The leaves are very dark. The flowers are like a chocolate brown color. The new growth is this chocolate brown. They're really beautiful. And let's see how much they are, $9.98. Really nice. some bromeliads over there, some nice varieties. I always really love these ones here with the pink. And then some smaller bromeliads, but they have this whole section here with tons of houseplants. <gasps> Look, they have um, a lipstick plant. I think it might be Rasta. Ooh, it doesn't say what variety, but I love this kind that has the really kind of tightly wound leaves. It's so healthy. Let's see how much. Um, $19.98, they have a beautiful Maranta here as well. Crotons, wow. Look at this Calathea. She is just looking so beautiful. 
and this one is 29. Diffenbachia. I believe that's Diffenbachia. Sometimes I get Agler name like Diffenbachia. Confused Peace Lily here, so big. Another absolutely massive Calathea there. And that looks like there's a Maranta back there, 19. Some Golden Pothos, a spider plant. Look at these cuties, these Pilea Peperomioides. They're nice sized, they're $15. That's a good deal. Then we have some Monstera Deliciosas. They are 16. Little ZZs. Very nice. What a beautiful prayer plant. Look, it's blooming. What a stunner. Nice Hartley philodendron here as well. And a gorgeous fern. They have some more of these absolutely massive Calatheas for 29. And beautiful peace lilies. These are all about, I don't know, 29 for the large ones. And then over here we have some Aglionema. This one is 16. This Lowe's is packed full of plants. They must have just got a shipment and I see so many plants. I'm really excited to explore. All right, first up I see, I believe this is a Homolonema um, Selby maybe. It's $21 and that includes this really amazing planter. This is an uncommon type of Homolonema. I never see them. Um, I've seen them like once uh, besides that, like especially nursery, I've only ever seen them once at a big box shop. Oh, here's a Homolonema Emerald, perhaps, for 21 Again, this is another one you don't see that often. They have some nice bird's nest ferns. Look how cute this little Calathea guy is. Just really adorable. I like those little pots. There's some ZZs down here, Peperomia, there's a Ficus. I really like these watering cans. I think they're so sweet. Look how cute that is, $25. Um, and they don't hold very much water, but I love a thin spout on a watering can. They also have some little misters. Look at these guys with the hair. That's so funny. All right, taking a look at these plants, off the bat, I see some really cool ones. Like up here, I see in this hanging pot, a Cebu Blue, which is an uncommon, you know, ish type of potho, $16. You just don't see them that often, especially at big box shops. So that's really, really nice. There's also a lemon, a lemon lime philodendron there. Um, I see a bird's nest fern and it looks silvery blue, but I heard that it's because when these plants get thirsty, they turn a silvery color. So I thought that was interesting when I found that out. Some beautiful anthurium here, $12.98. Some bamboo, some more anthurium, and a bird's nest fern down there, Dracaena. Some Aglionema, just taking a look at kind of in the back because sometimes there's some really good plants hidden. Some beautiful orchids, they're 20. There's a curly spider plant, really lovely. Ooh, wow, look at this Episcia pink panther. That's a really big one and they are 15.98. Love Episcias. They do need regular watering though. So if you're an underwaterer, maybe stay avoid. Cause if you, they just aren't very forgiving with underwatering and they will turn crispy very, very quickly. Look at these little, little guys. They're so cute. Ooh, look. Okay, we have the um, Peace Lily. I think this is the, the Jet Diamond. 
by Costa Farms. Ooh, they have Pink Princess. These are 20 as well. I'm really enjoying seeing um, these Pink Princess that are coming on the market because a lot of them have literally like so much beautiful variegation. Like look at the variegation on these. Stunning. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You know, $20, it's a great time to go out and get a, a pink princess if you've always wanted one. Then I see some money trees, some more Aglionema. I can't get over those peace lily, or I keep calling them peace lily, I'm sorry. Pink princess. My brain is going a million miles an hour. Then we have some more of the jet diamond peace lilies. Let's see what all's over here. So exciting. This one's nice. $15.98, I love these leaves. They're so soft and quite thick as well. Blue star fern, absolutely beautiful for 15. Staghorn fern, a gorgeous Tradescantia. Um, some Syngonium back there. Some waffle plants. Wow, look at those crotons. They're so vibrant. Uh, nice Rex begonia too. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm seeing some really stunning Rex begonias coming onto the market. Some more beautiful philodendrons and ferns. How much are these? 548 Philodendron Brazil. Little Syngonium. These are great starter plants if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg, but you want to get yourself a little something to start with. Some beautiful peace lilies down here. And this looks like it could be an enjoy. Pothos, these are 13. Sometimes you can find some really interesting plants from the Urban Jungle collection in these little pots. Um, I've seen some uncommon plants. So I always, always really look to see what is in there. Up here we have some nice parlor palms. There's a little mix there. Um, let's go under here and see. Okay, don't see anything too crazy. There's snake plants, there's a little ficus, maybe an altissima back there. And oh, this is cute, this little staghorn. Oh, uh-oh, there's a bird. Um. Some big Diffenbachias, $19. Just love the color of those leaves. Beautiful Monstera Deliciosas. Looks like some cordylines. Let's keep going. I see some really fun plants. Um, some more of the Syngonium rabbit foot fern. Some more peace lilies. Interesting, dark mystery pilea. Really pretty and silvery. And some more Diffenbachias here, $12.98 for these. Staghorn fern. Wow, look at this huge rabbit foot fern. You can see the little legs sticking out. And I saw a Hoya a second ago, so I'll have to go find it again. This one's 19 for the Peperomia and the big Pothos. It's either Marble Queen or Golden. Marble Queen? Oh wait, no. It's Yesenia. Ooh, it's a new one. Oh, that's exciting. Yesenia Pothos. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm always excited for any new Pothos varieties that I can find. That's really, really fun. Then there's the um, red, red Kiss. 
I believe, Rex begonia. Here's strawberry begonia. Oh, look, here's the Hoya. Oh no, maybe it's a lipstick plant. Is it labeled? Oh no, it's a Hoya. I believe, 1998. This aluminum plant is really beautiful. They have some exceptional pileas. There's some Skindapsis Tribune Moonlight. I see some Global Green Pothos. Yeah, these are, um, these are really wonderful plants. I love mine. Calathea mosaicas, some more aglionemas, some hurricane bird's nest fern down there. Wow, they're really packed in. Um, let's see, let's see. They have succulents, they have a lot of ferns, they have the teddy bear tradescantia over there, the really fuzzy one. I see some beautiful succulents. There's some string ofs over there, maybe like string of bananas. Some more trending trop tropicals. I see calatheas, some more trubii moonlight, um, some cute little peperomias. Beautiful and massive xanthosomas. These are all $20. And there is one raven ZZ. I also see some shingling, Raphidophora hyes. Mine has grown so much, it's, it's pretty fast growing. I'm in the outdoor section and I literally stopped because of this beautiful caladium. It's $16 and they have a couple of them and they are massive. I was not disappointed today at the big box shops. I thought they were absolutely fabulous. First of all, can we comment on the Stingray Alocasia? Holy cow, it was so massive. I couldn't believe it. Normally, one of those plants would be so expensive for like a little tiny baby one. So get out there, go get your Stingray Alocasias. Those are so cool. They also had an Alocasia Ninja. I already have an Alocasia Ninja. Otherwise, I would have definitely picked that one up today. The Stingray was way too big for me to pack in my suitcase to take it back to Charlotte, unfortunately. But I think those two were really good finds from Home Depot. And then at Lowe's, they had that new Pothos variety. Again, a little too big for me to pack in my suitcase, but if I was in Charlotte, I would have scooped that bad boy up. So now I have some plants to put on my wish list for the next time I'm doing some big box shopping in Charlotte. And it's really fun to see like which plants are in what area of the country. So leave in the comments, let me know if you're finding any interesting plant varieties at big box shops. I have to say like, it's constantly changing. There's always new plants coming out. Um, I was really, really impressed today. And if you wanna see future plant videos show up in your newsfeed, definitely subscribe. That would be so awesome. We have a great community on YouTube as well as on Instagram. All right, I hope you just have the best day and you will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.